Hey guys, it's Alana here and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Hi, I'm Alana. You should subscribe and follow me on all my social media accounts. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys some middle school advice slash what to expect in middle school. A lot of people do freshman advice and high school advice, but I'm not in high school. I'm going to the 8th grade actually, so I'm still in middle school, but I thought that I should do this to help some people out because middle school... Going into middle school, it can be really scary because you're transitioning from like a small elementary school to where you know everybody to middle school where it's a lot more people. So I really hope that this video helps you guys out. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe. Tell your friends about me and comment some video ideas that you guys would like to see from me in the future. And without further ado, let's get on with the video. Number one is be yourself. Know yourself. Know who you are. Know what it is that you like to do. Overall, just be yourself. It's so much easier to just be you rather than try to be someone else because there might be a situation or something that happens to where you're not comfortable doing it and it's like, mm, oh my gosh, so just be yourself. It'll help you find friends. Also, don't worry about what other people think. Don't worry about other people's opinions. Lock out the negativity. Like, it's gonna help you so much if you just focus on who you are and focus on you and know who you are. Focus on school and focus in class. It is so easy to remain straight A's and a social life. Go to tutoring, get extra credit, build a bond with your teacher. These things are really going to help you. Do not procrastinate. Do your work. Personally, I have an issue with procrastinating, but I'm getting better at it. Don't procrastinate. Do your homework. Do your work. Pay attention in class because you never know when that little thing that you weren't paying attention to is going to end up on the test. Or it might not even be on the test. It might be on your final or on your end of, or it might be on your EOC. So just pay attention to every little thing. Choose your friends wisely and surround yourself by good people and people who you want to be around. Not everyone is your friend. Some people don't have the best intentions. Some people only want to be your friend to be petty, to get information out of you, to become closer to someone else. Choose your friends wisely. Know who you can trust. Do not trust everyone. Because, like I said, not everyone has the best intentions. But just surround yourself by people who you want to be surrounded. Don't get caught up in the wrong crowd. This one, it's so easy to get caught up in the wrong crowd because, of, again, you want to be popular or you want to seem cool and things like that. But those people, they might not be bad people. They just don't have their priorities straight. And you want to make sure that you're surrounding your people who want the best for you. Um, one thing that I've learned is... Even if you don't do something, the people who you hang out with, if they are making some decisions, it's still going to reflect off of you. If people see that you hang out with those people, let's say they do something really good, even if you want to do good things, but I'm just saying. If you hang out with good people, it kind of reflects off of you that you're a good person, that you're, you know what I mean? Whereas if you hang out with people who do bad things and make bad choices, even if you don't do those same, even if you don't make those decisions, it's still going to reflect off of you if those are the people who you're hanging out with. So be careful with that. Drama. Stay away from it as much as possible. In middle school, people want to start stuff. They want to be messy and petty for no reason. Think about, did I have a part in this conflict? Did I play a part in this conflict or is somebody just starting with me just because they want to start something with me just because they're bored with their life be the bigger person and walk away from the issue do not let them get to you do not let them get out of character however if they continuously are messing with you after you're trying to walk away you need to put them in their place but walk away do not say anything else after that just put them in their place one time and leave the situation alone you should leave the situation alone regardless but sometimes people just don't understand. It's never that deep to get a fight, okay? Fighting is not the answer. It doesn't solve anything. Y'all just hit each other a few times. But it doesn't take away the long-term thing. You miss two days of school and you already miss a lot of things. So imagine missing 10 days of school and how far you behind you're going to be. That's a lot of missing work, makeup work that you're going to have to do. You're going to be behind in lessons and things like that. So it's not worth it to fight. It's not. Mind your business, okay? Mind your business. If it doesn't involve you, stay out of it. Just because your friend is beefing with this person, 
um, you don't need to get into it. Yes, you want to be that good friend who's like, girl, okay, if you don't like her, I don't like her either. It just makes more problems because then the other person will be like, oh, you can't handle yourself. You just didn't. Uh, mind your business, okay? It's going to be so much easier for you. There's no reason for you to have to be in drama if it doesn't involve you. So just mind your business. Do not lose sight of your goals, okay? Don't lose sight of your goals. If, if people are trying to discourage you, if people are praying on your downfall, let them do it. Let them pray on your downfall. But do not let them discourage you. Do not let them get the best of you. Because at the end of the day, you're doing what you want to do and you know that it's going to help you in the long run, in the long term. So you keep doing what you're doing. If they think... Um, as I was saying... If those people are praying on your downfall, if they say what you want to do isn't cool, whatever it is, those are not your real friends. You need to... Also, if you feel like you're getting a bad vibe from people, trust your gut, trust your in instinct. I always have a gut feeling about people, but it's like you don't want to cut them off because you really don't have a reason to cut them off. You know what I mean? Like... Don't cut them off completely. Just kind of distance yourself away from them. If you are getting bad vibes from that person, distance yourself away from them. Don't cut them off completely because it's not, you don't have a solid reason to cut that person off, but just kind of distance yourself away from that person or that situation. Social life. <laughs> Join clubs and be active in school. Join your sports, basketball, soccer, whatever it is, drama club, cooking club, chess club. Join it. You're going to meet so many new people and you're just going to have an awesome time, hopefully. And you make a lot of new experiences and things like that. So it's be involved in school. Be friendly. Be nice to a bunch of people, to everybody, because you never know when there's a time where you might need that person. Let's say you're not doing so hot in a class and you're cool with somebody who is doing hot in a class. You might want to ask that person to tutor you, whereas a random person who you don't vibe with at all, and it's just really awkward. So be friends with everyone. Don't get too close to everyone, okay? You want to have your little circle, your little group of friends, your little four friends, whatever. But it's okay to be cool with anyone, to be cool with everybody. Essentials and things like that. Have good hygiene, okay? Brush your teeth smell good take showers deodorant whatever it is have good hygiene okay please i'm begging you. have good hygiene always have snacks and water on you because you never know whenever you're gonna be hungry or you'll just get hungry throughout the day and it's good to have snacks and things like that so that way you don't have to ask people especially like if your lunch passed if your lunch is like really early in the day your lunch is really late in the day just have snacks and water on you always have earbuds I'm telling you, earbuds, they're really convenient. You never, for one, you never know when you're going to need them in class. Um, you can have them in whenever you're walking to class. Well, I'm not allowed to have my phone out, like, in school, period. Like, unless our lunch, whatever, lets us have them. But, oh, yeah, you can have them in lunch whenever you're eating, whenever you're walking home, if you walk or on the bus, or when you're in car line waiting for your whoever to pick you up. Just have earbuds on you. It's really, really convenient. People don't care um, how you dress, like, honestly. People don't care. People are going to be like, I mean, like, for, if you don't match, people are probably going to be like, oh, she doesn't match. But, like, that's everything, like, whatever. Um, so, you know, if you like to dress nicely, do it for you, not to impress other people because it'll take all the joy out personally whenever i dress nice and things like that i feel so much better i feel so good whenever i dress nice so you know just be you be yourself have a good school year thank you guys so much for watching this video please be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe comment down below and tell your friends about me have a great school year and yeah bye